In 2017, 55 situations of armed violence amounted to armed conflicts under international humanitarian law and international criminal law. As in preceding years, the vast majority of these conflicts were non-international armed conflicts, that is, opposing states and non-state armed groups. The War Report 2017 decided to look more closely on armed gang violence, particularly in countries such as Mexico, Colombia and El Salvador. If the high degree of violence is one of the conditions that triggers the applicability of IHL, there is a second condition, which is the degree of organization that armed gang must meet in order for IHL to apply. The War Report 2017 decided to classify as non-international armed conflict the situation in Mexico and Colombia. El Salvador is a more difficult situation as the way armed groups are organized there do not, according to us, yet fulfill the organization criteria. Nevertheless, the war report looks at the situation in this edition. Other chapters in the war report look at the conflict between Israel and Palestine. It also looks at the situation in Afghanistan, in the Philippines, in Myanmar, in Libya, in Nigeria, and also in Yemen. Finally, a slightly different chapter looks at the history and relationships between Kurdish armed groups operating in Turkey, Syria and Iraq. I'm confident that this edition of the War Report 2017 will spark discussion among practitioners, scholars, students and journalists and I hope it will be a useful source of information for their daily work.